everyone in connection with the Krishna consciousness movement, substantially, this tendency is awakened in them. On some level, they're engaged in some sort of self-sacrifice for the ultimate cause. So we're willing to overlook everything and focus and revere that. That's what it means to be non-envious. Any, there's nothing else of, of value. Nasochati na kangshati, Brahmabhuta prasanatma, Nasochati na kangshati, samaksarveshu bhuteshu madbhaktim leva. Coming to this position, realize there's nothing in this world worth, uh, you know, getting upset about. That puts one on the threshold of madbhaktim labhate param. Then they're ready to enter, near matsaranam satam, not envious of the devotees. Rather, I mean, that's the negative aspect. What is the inverse of non-envious? Praising, recognizing devotional tendencies, and giving praise for that. So much so that Srila Gurudev referred to that as, I'm practicing my religion. And what was his religion? Praising others for their good qualities. Once someone, a, a, a great, great disciple of Srila Saraswati Thakur was praising Srila Govinda Maharaj to the extreme, and one of his disciples objected. Said, You're praising, giving too much praise to Govinda Maharaj. And he answered by saying, I have to. I have to recognize the spiritual substance and serving tendency that I see there. Otherwise, if I do not recognize that, some fault comes to me. So one half is fault finding, which is not only, it's, it, would, it would be okay if it was just a waste of time. Unfortunately, it's not just a waste of time. It destroys uh, devotional development. Right. Vaishnav aparad, not uh, uncontrolled senses. They may uh, stagnate devotion, but Vaishnav aparad, we're told, can uproot the devotional creeper. So that's the one thing, to avoid fault finding. What did Saraswati Tagore say? It is only that I am honeycombed with thousands of defects that I take the task of finding fault with Vaishnavas. That's the one side. But the other side is, as in this case, Srila Bhakti Doita Madhav Maharaj said, if I do not praise, then some fault comes to me for not recognizing the good qualities of that devotee, their serving tendency, their devotional tendency. And rather, we could say, by praising them, then your devotional position improves. As if by praising that quality, that some semblance of that quality descends in you through appreciation.